What's up everyone, Kyle here. Welcome to another edition of Our Travel Tips. In this episode, I'm gonna, gonna be sharing with you some of my packing tips um, that have helped made, make my trips easier. And um, you know, I think this is, uh, it's a key part of making your trip as good as it possibly can be, um, is, is finding ways to make uh, that packing easier so that you bring everything that you need, um, so that you're not forgetting anything, um, and making sure that you can fit everything you need into uh, the suitcase or the bags that you have and uh, helping yourself um, so that you don't have to worry about uh, all the packing and you can just worry about having a great time on your trip. Um, so let's get into it. All right, first things first, I always like to make a list. Here's a list uh, from my most recent trip going to uh, Philadelphia. Um, this one was even a lot more important to know what to pack because I also had to, or I was also running in a ultra marathon, uh, the first day of the trip in, uh, in another location. Um, so I had to pack for kind of two different trips, um, which added a different dynamic, um, as well. But I always think that, um, you know, making a list of things that you need, um, is a good first step because... Um, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to remember everything that you need to bring on the trip. And um, it's going to help you, uh, you know, not forget anything. So I make a list every time. Um, I always like to write it out each time, even though it might be easier to have like a spreadsheet or something where I could, um, I could, you know, keep everything that I typically bring on a trip, um, you know, in a, in a spreadsheet. That way I don't have to write it out each time. But I also think that that might, um, might cause you to forget some things too, uh, depending on the type of trip, because sometimes trips are different and, and you need different clothes uh, for each trip. So um, always write a list. That's my recommendation. Um, it really helps me get everything that I need and has worked really well in all the trips that I've taken over the years. So that's tip number one. I would also say as you're thinking about uh, what to pack, um, it's nice to kind of start in order of, of um, you know, how you typically maybe get dressed or something like that. Um, so I always think about it, you know, what's, uh, what socks do I need, um, shoes, um, you know, shirts, um, etc. I like looking at the weather as well um, for the time that I'm going to be in the location that I'm going to. Um, that way you can kind of help, you know, pack accordingly. Um, so, so you might have some different uh, different clothes to bring there, um, or maybe you you know that you can get away with you know not bringing a jacket or something like that, uh, which could be nice too and save a lot of space as well. Um, I did that with my recent trip to Philadelphia. Uh, I knew it was going to be kind of cold, but uh, warm enough that I didn't need to bring my big jacket with me, uh, which helps save a lot of space um, as well. So that that can be really helpful also. Okay, so we made a list. Now, how do we actually pack the suitcase? So, two things. One I mentioned in, uh, in my last video uh, with Amanda. So, I would um, first recommend that you have you know, two different bags, at least. So, I always like to have a backpack um, that I'm going to carry with me the entire time. And that's going to have all my um, things that I might need while I'm on the plane. Um, or just things that I'm typically going to use the most um, and probably not not the clothes necessarily. So that's where I keep my you know laptop, books, um, phone charger, uh, you know any of my like vitamins that I bring or um, you know pens, uh, pens that I bring, uh, deodorant, um, you know anything else that or snacks, anything that I might use on the plane. Or something like that. Um, all my, uh, you know, uh, toothbrush and toothpaste and, and stuff like that as well. Um, so that's what the backpack I think is, is really good for. Sometimes I'll put some some clothes in there if I if I feel like, um, you know, it might be good to have some clothes in there, or I just need more space. Um, so sometimes I do that as well. And then I always in my suitcase. That's where I'm going to have all my clothes and extra shoes and stuff like that. So uh, we can take a look at what it looks like to pack the suitcase now. Okay, so here's the suitcase that I typically use uh, when I'm traveling. Now, 
I personally don't like to check a bag. So anytime that I can avoid checking a bag, I do that. Um, so I like to squeeze whatever I can into, into the carry on. Um, so I don't have to worry about, you know, waiting for my bag. Um, after getting off the plane, I don't have to worry about, you know, hoping that it, it makes it to the destination that I'm going to, um, or anything like that. Um, it's just nice to be able to have everything with me. It's easy. It's right there. Um, don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So that's personally what I like to do. Not to say that checking a bag is, is bad. Um, I think it's really great if you need more space. Um, I personally try to minimize the space as much as I can or minimize what I bring as much as I can. Um, cause I also don't want to really carry it all either. Um, so this is the suitcase that I use and now, um, I'll just pack it how I typically pack it. Okay. So now I've got all my clothes for the trip. Um, checked them, checked them all off the list. Um, so now I can start packing. Now there's a couple different ways that, um, I would say I like to typically pack. Um, one thing I always do though, um, every time though, is I always put in things that are, you know, things like shoes or things that I might not necessarily need as much on the trip or I'm less likely to need on the trip, like a sweatshirt or something like that. Um, I always like to put that stuff on the bottom, um, especially with the shoes. You know, I like to put them so that, you know, they're not going to get the rest of their clothes dirty. So any extra shoes, like maybe running shoes um, or extra, you know, workout shoes or whatever. Um, I always like to put those in. Um, I always put them in sideways like this. Um, that way they aren't taking up as much space. Um, and then I like to put any socks that I'm bringing um, into the shoes themselves. That way they're, uh, they're not taking up that much space either. Um, so being efficient there. Um, same thing if Say maybe I got some dress shoes, I'm gonna get dressed up um, on the trip as well, or just some extra shoes. Um, I can sneak those in here somewhere uh, and go like that. Um, same thing, put the socks in there. I won't do it here uh, for this video. And then, you know, something that I might not necessarily need or, or need less often, like a sweatshirt. Um, I like to put that um, towards the bottom. And this is where uh, I'd say there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, some people like to, you know, fold the clothes flat. Um, I, I like to do that sometimes depending on how much clothes I'm bringing. Um, I think it's sometimes easier, but you can also roll the clothes, which also saves a lot of space. Um, so that's what I'll do here. So I can put the sweatshirt in there. Um, you know, I got other clothes. These aren't really going to roll up. So I'll just, place them here in the corner, stuff them in. Don't need to worry about wrinkles with uh, these type of clothes here. Um, got a flannel. Uh, that's something that might not, ne might not necessarily need as much during the trip. So roll that up here. And then we can sneak that into the side. And bring another sock there, maybe an extra pair of jeans. That I want to bring, um, you can roll those as well. And rolling can sometimes help uh, minimize the wrinkles as well, which is nice. Um, and then I always have, you know, things that are I'm more likely to need or, or might need sooner in the trip uh, towards the top. So things like a t-shirt, you know, maybe my shirt for the next day or something. Um, that stuff is going to go towards the top. So I just sneak that in there. Um, and then I would just put more shirts in there, um, anything else I might need, pair of shorts, um, things like that. And then um, I usually put, you know, this compartment, usually sandals or anything else, maybe more socks or something if I have them. Um, use the other compartments if I need them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I pack. Um, I think it's really efficient, um, minimizes how much space you need. Um, Usually I can fit everything that I need uh, for the trip into the suitcase. And then if I need extra um, or have extra clothes, I can stuff them into my backpack as well. Um, again, minimizing, uh, you know, the potential to have to uh, check a bag or something like that, which is always nice. Um, that can make the trip more efficient. And um, yeah, 
it's, it's just a good way to go, I think. Um, also, when you're coming back from a trip, so maybe you've been in your location, you bought some souvenirs, things like that. Um, what I always like to do is, um, if I do have some maybe more breakable souvenirs, um, I like to put them in the center of the, of the bag. So not on the bottom, not on the top, not on the sides or anything like that. I like to, you know, put some things around like this, put the souvenirs in the middle, uh, put more clothes over the top. And then um, that way it's going to be less likely that it gets jostled around and, and breaks um, on the, on the trip home, um, which is nice. Um, I hate to, hate to buy a souvenir and then you get all, all the way home and it doesn't, or it's broken or whatever. Um, that can be really disappointing, especially if it's a foreign destination where you might not ever get back to. Um, so that's just a, another tip as well. Um, there's a lot more things I could say about packing. Um, if you want to learn more about packing, if you want to learn about more tips, um, keep watching this channel for one. Um, every week I'll be doing different tips um, based on my travel experiences. Also, um, towards the end of the year, my, uh, my book uh, called Travel Tips is going to be coming out and it's all, um, all kind of general travel advice for all different aspects of travel, all different parts of it. Some of it's gonna coincide with what I'm talking about here, um, but it's gonna be a lot more expansive there as well. It's also gonna have a lot more of my travel stories in it that kind of illustrates the point. Um, so look out for that at the end of the year. I'll definitely keep you updated. Um, and make sure to go subscribe so that you can see more tips and see all the other content that I do on a weekly basis, including my From Around the World Friday show. Every Friday, I'm exploring different parts of the world. They're talking about different souvenirs that I've got gotten or answer any questions that you might have. And then every Wednesday, I have a podca podcast called Our Travel Experiences, where I'm interviewing guests or sharing my own experiences. Um, and just it's, it's a great way to kind of hear people's stories and live vicariously through others. So go check it out, everyone. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe. And I look forward to talking with you next week.